regarding Fetterman, I blame those wives, whether it's Joe Biden or John Fetterman, their wives knew that they were incapacitated. They know they need to be cared for and focus on their health. I think these women are so ambitious that they cannot help themselves but to push these husbands that are clearly incapable of, you know, doing day-to-day normal activities that we do and certainly high-level thinking where you have to protect America, work to protect and grow a Pennsylvania jobs and opportunity. It certainly is painful to watch. And a yes. reasonable person, I would suspect, would say, hey, someone like Fetterman who really is struggling, and I really actually do feel bad for the guy. Yeah. I really do. I think his politics are, are the worst, but I feel bad for the man. Terrible. So if, we, if he steps down or is replaced... What happens here? So it's been really hard to get the details of what happens if John Fetterman is replaced by Governor Shapiro, which he should be. Governor Shapiro should replace John Fetterman with his choice as the U.S. Senator. And if he does it soon, before 90 days before November this year, we will have an election in November of this year, and the state party in Pennsylvania will decide who their candidate is. And they have a great list of available Republicans who could very aptly serve and represent Pennsylvania's interests. But Ambassador, if, I would argue you could be one of those candidates. I might be. <laughs> but, but if Governor Shapiro replaces John Fetterman Within the 90 days of this November's election, in 2024, November, we will have an election and elect the next U.S. Senator. It'll be Shapiro's choice against the Pennsylvania State Party choice. And I think that Pennsylvania deserves to have capable representation. This poor man has been through it. First of all, and I, I, I hate to say this, but when he was the lieutenant governor in Pennsylvania, he showed up then, before the stroke, one-third of the time. So that's who he is. But now here he is being held in a mental hospital, dealing with, they say, clinical depression. But I'm also hearing stories that he's working on legislation. Well, I don't believe it. I think the staff is busy beavers back there trying to craft far-left policy while this poor man can't even function, and his family is not by his side. There it's was, appalling. There's reports that he's filing leg- legislation from the hospital. Yes. Republicans are demanding we want to see him on camera. Proof of life. Ex- proof of life, exactly. So this brings us now to, does he have to step down or resign himself? Can he be removed? Would that, would that look like an impeachment process? What does it look like? So I believe, and Governor Shapiro, before he was governor, during the race, he said, look, If John Fetterman can't serve because of his health, which clearly he has real health challenges, um, he said, then I'm going to replace him. And he named a female replacement. Now I'm hearing another female replacement and a list of replacement possibilities. But here's the bottom line, folks. Pennsylvania deserves to have representation in the Senate like every state. And we have poor Senator Casey, the other Democrat senator. He's out for medical reasons. He'll be back. But John Fetterman, on the other hand, is not capable of representing us. So so from our perspective, Republicans, we could have an election and ultimately replace him. In That election would take place in 2024 or would it take place this year? Or it- this year. If, if Governor Shapiro puts in place an actual, you know, a senator who can function and show up and vote on our behalf, before 90 days of 90 days within before 90 days before November 18th. Okay. November 18th is the magic date. If it's before then, it's 2023. We could actually have a Republican senator in 2024 in Pennsylvania.